I can use pink to, um, what is this called? Wrapping paper. Can I get like those sparkly? And use that as like the tablecloth. Can you hold it, baby? Got the gold sparkly paper in there. And then we need some like confetti. But like not that one. We got all of this stuff. We already got construction paper. Ribbon. Canva things. Here's construction paper. So if you don't have card stock or construction paper, but I think we could use these things right here. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kanisha. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give me a like and comment your website down below. Okay, so today y'all already know what it is. So I'm back with another good video. We're gonna be doing a pop-up shop setup video type of video. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to set up for a pop-up shop, how to set up for a vendor's table. Because I had my first pop-up shop a few years ago. I had it um, for a month long. I had the option to actually get a store or a like a uh, booth and i went with the booth option just because it was in the middle of the mall it was my pop-up shop was at a mall and i had it for a month long from like i think it was the month of december or something like that but like i said that was a few years ago before that i would try to get um a booth at like my local fairgrounds and all of that but it just never worked out and of course when i went to do this pop-up shop and i went to youtube how i always do with everything just to get like more insight or just advice or just a little ideas on what to do. There were really no videos on pop-up shops um, that like worked for me. So I was like, you know what? Why won't I do a video on how to set up for a pop-up shop or a vendor's table? So I did have two pop-up shops this year, but I did not attend them. I ended up canceling last minute because something came up both times. But I do plan on having pop-up shops later this year and next year, of course, in the future. So, of course, I will take you guys along whenever I do do these things. I'll vlog. I'll give you guys different tips and stuff for pop-up shops, whether it's a pop-up shop or a vendor's table. Um, like the cost, the um, how to actually do it and stuff. Like I said, I was inside of a mall, so it's kind of different than just... Um, being like with a local business or something or like a smaller business because it's a lot of legal things that you have to do so yeah i went through that whole process and i do not mind sharing it with you guys if i have a picture or something i'll insert it here for you guys to see But yeah, it was for my other business that I had. If you guys want to know how to set up for a pop-up shop or a vendor's table on a budget, literally on a budget, keep on watching this video. Okay, so we're first going to do the Holly Hall, like we always do. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys what I got from Dollar Tree. I got this little Arvis canvas and it's 8 by 10 and the back just looks like this and it's really thin. Dollar Tree has so many different sizes of these and I love them so much. This is not your first time seeing this photo paper from Dollar Tree. Girl, you best believe when I went and bought it, I bought like 10 packs of it. So y'all gonna be seeing that in a lot of videos. I actually made another video using that photo paper but my phone got lost and that footage is just long gone so i have to re-record all of that so i got some binder clips mind you we're using dollar tree this is like a dollar tree challenge of course some things could be different i could have went to like hobby lobby and all of that because that's what i did with my other pop-up shop i use hobby lobby and mainly dollar tree 
but this is just if you're on a budget and yeah so i got craft sticks i got glue sticks i got a little notebook just while i'm there if i if you guys need to write down anything at the pop-up shop or vendor table i got these little um organza bags these are not at every dollar tree i've only seen these at two dollar trees so you get eight in a pack and I just got these ones. I will be doing a video on these, so stay tuned for that. I got this decorative shred. I have a uh, pink that I usually use, but I have pink bags, so I was like, let me just go ahead and try the white. I got this wrapping paper. Y'all probably like, why does she have all of these like odd things? So these are dot labels. I got some bags, of course. We're going to need this for our pop-up shop. Let's just act like I'm going to a pop-up shop. <laughs> I got some pink star bars, and I just got it for the packaging, so you want everything to match and um, be coordinated. I got some gold gift bags. And, oh, yeah. I got these little mirrors. Everything just seems so random now, huh? This little container. I got tissue paper. This is 24 sheets. And there, I got this little white. We're going to start with the wrapping paper. I just got some gold wrapping paper. For my pop-up shop that I had, I was planning on getting um, a custom, what is it called? A custom tablecloth, but... Um, I ended up not going with that option because it wasn't going to be there in time to through and take the ends down just a little bit. I printed these out using the photo paper that I showed you guys. So here is the photo paper and I just made these cute little pictures and um, I'm going to cut them out and I'll show you guys what I'm using them for. If you guys have an idea down below, what do you think I'm using these for? comment it now to make a video on how to um make these i did a video about using this paper i added kind of like a board so it could look more like a like vendor's table or like a pop-up shop instead of like my kitchen so let's just now we're at the mall we have a pop-up shop and we're setting it up so just put that in your head forget i'm at home and let's get started with the video so i finished cutting these little cute little flyers out. So we have the mirrors, we have the business cards set up. Now let's go, let's set up some candy because I think this is important because um candy and like any type of free treats attract customers so whatever your brand is like say your brand is like red and yellow if i were you i would do like some red candy i would do like some red candies and some yellow candies just so it can match your brand and it's cute and it doesn't take much for it to make. You can have the lid on it or you can keep the lid so off. For this, we're going to need our craft sticks and our glue sticks. So, of course, I wanted to paint these pink, but my pink paint is like up in the cloth. The back of this and put glue down where we want to glue our stick and then just stick it on like this. So that stuck on really, really well. I'm gonna go over it on the sides just a little bit. And you want to apply a lot of pressure. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of these. Okay, so my thinking behind this was, okay, so if somebody wants free candy or free chocolate, then give them your fi your flyers. Like, they have to take one of these.
to get the this chocolate. This is how it looks. It looks really cute. Mind you, I could have, um, if I would have added more candy inside of here, it would have stuck up more. Of course, you want to make sure this is filled up just because it looks more better like that. But yeah, I think this is so cute. This is just a neat idea. And of course, you, you can literally just go to Dollar Tree and do it. So if you guys want to paint the popsicle sticks, go ahead, paint them. They have like rhinestones at Dollar Tree you can use as well. I literally thought of this idea while I was at Dollar Tree getting something else. So I had like five minutes to get everything. Okay, so I got this artist canvas from um, Dollar Tree. It's eight by 10. And I'm gonna go ahead and take all of this stuff off and just glue this on to this. So it fits perfectly. I just glued this on here. These little binder clips. So I know you guys are probably like, what the heck is she about to do with those? So let's take them out your pop-up sticks and just do it like that and then after you bend it down I know you're supposed to usually keep them down but bring it back up and now with these binder clips of course get one get some that matches your brand so if I was like actually doing a pop-up shop I probably would paint these gold or pink or like leave the um, bottoms black and then just paint this like pink or gold so I wanted to have these like little pop-up things just sitting around on the table just because it looks cute. Probably like grab people's attention and make them want to come check you out. So that's the reason why I picked the gold sparkly paper and all of that because you want to grab people's attention because you could be at a vendor's event or like a pop-up shop in the mall or something and you have other people selling the same exact things that you sell and you definitely want to stand out. So, Put that in right here and then clamp it back up. So literally, I was just thinking like, it was literally, I had like one minute and I'm like, find your clips. I seen them, I said, yes, I can use those. So you just wanna figure out where you want to put them at. I think I'm only gonna use four. Okay, so I turned the lighting down a little bit. I hope you guys don't mind, but the light was kind of like throwing everything off. Okay, so as you guys can see, I added some cute pink tissue paper. I'm gonna brighten it up so you can see it a little bit more. This is how it looks. But um, now we are going to add some of our cute products for people to see. We want to lay it out. We want to have everything available for them to see. And yeah, so I'm going to go add some products and yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. my hang tags that I had as you can see it just says the size and then the um, cost of the item and I just had a safety pin and a rubber band I don't even know where I purchased these from but yeah here were my hang tags they look so little cool. dot labels that I showed you guys so you guys could write like the um, amounts of everything on here if you don't have like um, hang tags or whatever you guys can see I went ahead and wrote some prices these are just prices I just made up but they do have them already printed out at Dollar Tree but the colors are like green yellow and blue and those aren't my brand colors so if those are your brand colors you can go ahead and use those but 
I'm sure you can get them printed out somewhere else as well. And then when you take it off, it's like a sticker like this. So this is perfect for accessories or makeup or if you don't have um, hang tags or anything like that. They also have receipt books at Dollar Tree. I think I got mine from Dollar General for a dollar when I had my pop-up shop. I also got a um, register from Office Max and um, I use a iPad as my um, screen for the register. So I just use PayPal um, and Square, I believe. If you have a Wix um, website, then they have it to where you can just go in and have all of that already. So you can get like a card reader and all of that, but I can make a whole nother video on like the business side of pop-up shops if you guys would like. Okay, so another thing I wanted to show you guys was the um, was the notebook that I got from Dollar Tree. So you guys wanna make sure you have some type of notebook or something just to write things down or something like that because you never know what you might need it for. This would not be a Kanisha tutorial or video without custom logo stickers. So as you guys can see, I added them to the bags and it looks so freaking cute. Um, you guys definitely want to have your logo everywhere so people won't forget it and just make sure you guys are branding yourselves really good. I think that is everything for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and found it useful. If you guys did find this helpful or just interesting or whatever, Make sure you guys comment that down below and give me a like. Thank you guys so much for being so supportive. And I had so much fun at making all of this for you guys. Like I said, this is only like my Dollar Tree version. Of course, if I wanted to do something like with um, custom stuff from like Visa Print and all of that, um, I would. But this is just like the Dollar Tree version because you don't want to spend too much money on like pop-up shops and like stuff like that. You don't want to spend too much money because then that's more money that you will have to make back. So if you guys want more videos on pop-up shops and vendor tables, let me know because I would love to um, record them for you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys a close-up of everything. Make sure you guys comment your website down below and let me know if you found this video useful. I had so much fun making it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it helped at least one person. Make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm trying to reach 10K. Check out my description box. I have my personal Instagram listed. I have my wholesale business, which is at Shop Pretty and Paid. And I have webinars available for you guys to purchase to help you out. Give me a like, comment your website down below. And yeah, let's get to 10K. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I definitely appreciate you guys.